take a deep breath. That air that you're sucking into your lungs is 20% oxygen. If that level fell to just 5%, you would pass out in a few minutes. And then your brain would start to die. The brain is a gas guzzling organ that requires a constant supply of sugar and oxygen. Take away the latter and neurons quickly start to self-destruct. By the time this video finishes, you'll be dead. But there is one mammal that can survive for up to 18 minutes without any oxygen at all. It's one of the strangest creatures on the planet. Meet the naked mole rat. Picture a disembodied finger. Now soak it in the bath for too long, add teeth, four short legs and a tail, and voila, you have a naked mole rat. These weird rodents live in the deserts of East Africa, and almost everything about them is really strange. They feel no pain, they seem virtually immune to cancer, they are exceptionally long-lived, they have bizarrely misshapen sperm, and they're so bad at controlling their body temperature that they're practically cold-blooded. They also live in colonies, a little bit like ants and bees. There is a single queen who suppresses the reproduction of all her daughters, keeping them sterile so they can act as her workers and soldiers. These colonies live underground, and they sleep in small chambers the size of footballs. In these really cramped subterranean quarters, oxygen levels can get really low. But yet, the naked mole rats cope with that just fine. Thomas Park from the University of Chicago and his colleagues confirmed this by placing captive naked mole rats into chambers with just 5% oxygen, conditions that would kill a mouse within 15 minutes and a human in even less time. But after five hours of this, the naked mole rats were still scurrying about happily, and Park had to stop the experiment because, well, he wanted to go home. <gasps> Even when he completely emptied the chambers of oxygen, the mole rats survived by entering a state of suspended animation. After 30 seconds, they passed out. After two minutes, their heart rates crashed. After seven minutes, they stopped breathing. And yet, after 18 minutes, they were still alive. And when Park re-exposed them to oxygen, they sprang back to life with seemingly no signs of brain damage. Other animals have their own tricks for coping with low oxygen. Deep diving species like whales and seals have special proteins in their blood and muscles that hold on to oxygen with particular tenacity. Some cold-blooded animals, like freshwater turtles, can cope by reducing their demand for the gas, by lowering their body temperatures, shutting down their metabolisms, and even entering into a kind of reversible coma. But warm-blooded mammals can't shut down our bodies to the same degree, which is why we quickly die when oxygen runs out. The naked mole rat is an exception, and it survives using a unique strategy. Oxygen matters to us because we need it to burn glucose, the sugar that acts as our main source of fuel. But the mole rats can switch to a different sugar called fructose, which can be burned without any oxygen. That's less efficient, which is why most mammals don't do it, but it's still better than nothing. And by switching to this alternative fuel, the mole rats can cope with the choking conditions of their underground burrows. The naked mole rat might look strange, perhaps even ugly to our eyes, but their weirdness is testament to the ability of animals to thrive in even the toughest of environments, through adaptations that can, quite literally, take your breath away.